you have Look a at that corn hat. Sir. Look at that hat, man. I was born in America. <laughs> I ruined his Ferrari this morning for a while. That thing sounds so good. Oh, yeah. flipping a brick over this car. 57 Nomad. All original. Look at that beautiful paint, man. It went back to the original paint. This is the repaint here, and it just faded away. This is still original here. car show in Upper Malibu and I, there's a um, gold Lambo. That's what it is. It's a gold Lambo. Not solid gold. Probably 14 karat. Mm, no? Yeah. Gold leaf? Would you believe um, gold wrap? Two people walking in front of it? I like the reflections. It's kind of kind of zippy. I don't know, I, I just, you know. Good morning. Uh, we're at the the top secret Malibu car show. Right. Somewhere. Should we whisper? Well, you you and I know where it is because oh. we're here. You know, oh, but most people across the world they may not know where it is. But it's in Malibu somewhere. This is Jeffrey. He brought in a, a very very nostalgic cool ride. I feel the same. What year is this? This is 1932. Okay, it's a it's a deuce. It's a deuce. deuce. I'm going to show you guys in, in a second what this is. But what's the story? Give me 30 seconds on this car. Um, the car was built by a guy who did interiors. You know, so that was his uh, job, and he uh, so he did a real nice job on the interior. And then um, it was just something they would take to shows, you know, to show off his work. His so you work. got it like this? I got it. I bought it from uh, the guy in Michigan. Yeah. yeah. And, and how long have you had it? A couple of years? Uh, no, no. It's all brand new. Oh, uh, really? Brand new for me. Yeah. 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 So it's my second deuce. I had one before. Is this the first show you've gone to? I uh, know. I actually, I did the, um, there was a deuce show at the Peterson. I'm a member yeah. of the CF200 at the sure. Peterson. Oh, yeah. And so about three weeks ago, there was... Uh, there was probably about 200 cars there. Yeah, yeah well, if you're and not careful. Little, and I got a little trophy. So I just, <laughs> I just want to throw that in. I got a little trophy. <laughs> right. If you're not careful, then this car will end up in the Peterson because it's sweet. It's really <laughs> Thank nice. You. That's Once again, at the top secret Malibu car show. We can't tell anybody where we are. Uh, this is Phil, and and you have kind of a um, kind of a sleeper. Well, uh, very sleepy. <laughs> or are you the sleeper? I'm the sleeper. I, it is my eyes early. don't open often. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to build something that was uh, old. Look, I love old trucks anyway. Right back there. And I just wanted to keep it uh, looking old, but have all the you know new stuff. So what, what year? What year is this? It's a 35 Dodge pickup, 
and the 33 and 4 has suicide doors. I would have loved that, but this is what when, I got. When you when you first got it, was it all it was, original? It was bad. It yeah, was bad. It yeah. was bad. Yeah. So I got it to this point, but then when I got it running and put a, a 360 truck engine, yeah. the Chrysler 727. So you just added some caffeine. Everything and uh, you know, yeah, where he can get on the freeway and boogie and haul ass, you know, right? And, yeah. and still look old yeah. like me. <laughs> Giotto Bizzarini, he was the head race engineer for Ferrari. So in 61 they had what was called the Palace Revolt, and all the race engineers were fired summarily. So Bizzarini went off and worked for ESO, and they made the ESO Grifo and the ESO, uh, you know, whatever the ESO cars were. And he was working for Mr. Revolta. Anyways, he went off because he always wanted to race, and he built a car that would kick Ferrari's butt, and that's what this did. So this is, they call it, they call it a 65 GTO, because he, he designed and built it. Ferrari GTO in 62, 3, and 4. And this one in 65? One in 65. Wow. Oh, Very cool. Good. I'm transitioning right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be retiring at the end of this year. Yep. And uh, it's top secret news. Nobody knows this, but pretty much everybody. Knows. Yeah. It, well, it's been in automotive news yeah. and car design news and sure. so forth. Sure. And uh, I'm excited about it because uh, you know I feel like I get the leash taken off of me. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and I, you get I, to I, hang out at these places. All yeah. Time. Yeah. So um, yeah. And I love the people involved with all of this stuff, and uh, I love getting into trouble. Yeah. You know. So people like. You. you do it well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So. Stand right in the back there. Get the marshmallow. Yeah, hold on. Let me get a. Uh, let me get some shrimps and the fish department man out. Should we barbecue something? Yeah, you got some like burgers or something. <laughs> <laughs> you run in the market, get some marshmallows. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you. 
spectacular day at the show and at the beach. A, uh, a really, really nice Sunday. Kathy's still at the beach with Bob, still surfing. I had to get Ken back so that uh, he could make his way back to Huntington Beach. It's a long drive in traffic in a Porsche that's got no top. But really great to see everybody this morning. Uh, a lot of you guys that were at the show today, I know that you're watching the vlog and I want you to know uh, how much I appreciate um, seeing you guys at the show and hearing your stories and all the great stuff that comes out of that. Car collectors, enthusiasts, designers, um, all different aspects of car culture. They all come to the show, uh, they hang out, they talk, they discuss uh, great stories, amazing cars. I'm just so grateful to be involved with such a, a tremendous group of people. And if you have a car rally or you have some kind of car event that you're doing and you want us to come and vlog it, let us know, shoot us an email. Our job here is to give you the best in car culture in Southern California and further places. And to show you once again that this vlog is about doing what you love and loving what you do. And we're here to help. If you see someone building a cool car or driving something really cool, it inspires you. I know it inspires me. I'm very blessed to have a lot of friends as designers, chief designers for car companies, and conceptualists that work in film, and others that create cars for SEMA. And it's always cool to see what people are working on. So if you're having a rough day and you can't seem to get through stuff, relax, take it easy, let things go, go to the beach, go to a car show, just have a good time. Get in the mindset, use this thing up here. Be the person you know you can be. All right, folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hang out with us on Instagram, Facebook, and all those places. I love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow.